Hey guys, this is Hydro from X Trades, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over um, the general market analysis and see what what's to come for the month of March. Um, so first, I'm just going to go over the major indices. I'm going to start off with uh, SPY and QQQ. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at SPY first. Zoom in a little bit here. So let me remove this line. Okay, so SPY has been holding up really, really well. It's been, uh, or it has been holding up really, really well. It made a solid uptrend for like the last couple of months, right? And ever since October, uh, it's been able to hold on to this uh, trend line and it's been trending up, right? Um, but just recently, just on Thursday, we finally broke this trend line and then on Friday we flushed pretty hard. And uh, the key is we flushed hard with uh, a, 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 an increase in volume. And this is a pretty significant increase compared to like normal volume. So this is a clear sign, a clear sign that institutions are starting to sell. And uh, yeah, liquidity is uh, disappearing from the market, right? Um, yeah, if there's if everyone is selling, uh, if everyone is selling, there's and there's no one buying, then there's a very good chance that uh, we could go a lot lower. And right now, um, the next support level for SPY is 376. So right now, this looks very, very bearish. Um, best case scenario, it's a chop market. But yeah, I think very likely we visit this 376 level. And then we'll see what happens next. We either bounce off or we just consolidate or we consolidate and then make a leg lower, right? So th that, that's the potential. Uh, those are some potential scenarios that could possibly um, uh, happen. But right now, very clear that SPY is bearish and uh, you do not want to be uh, longing too many things right now in the market. Next up, we'll take a look at QQQ. So QQQ, pretty much the same thing, right? Um, it's been built, it's bottomed out since October, just like SPY. And it's been uh, yeah building higher and higher uh, last couple months. It started this year, it had a very nice rally. And then um, we were building a bull flag, but now this bull flag is just getting way too long, right? If it was a proper bull flag, we should have broke that somewhere here, or at least here, right? But uh, every single time we touch this uh, upper trend line, we reject. And uh, right now, it looks like bears are in control as well. So um, the only difference is that uh, QQQ is holding up much, much better than SPY. So tech names are holding up much better, but uh, that being said, uh, QQQ um, it's still looking pretty weak, especially if we lose this uh, 288 level. If that level gets taken out um, next week, then there's a very good chance that we can go to 280. And if that gets taken out as well, then there's a good chance we go to 270. So right now, I would say QQQ is also um, uh, it's bearish, not as bearish as SPY, but um, yeah, tech is holding up a little bit better. So that that's one good thing about the market. But right now, still. Um, you don't you don't want to be getting aggressive and uh, trying to uh, buy stuff on the long side. It's best to stay in cash or um, look for short opportunities. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got for the uh, indices. Uh, we can also take a look at the weekly chart. So yeah, again, uh, nice 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 rally here. Nice consolidation, building a bull flag. Tried to break out this week, but rejected hard. And if we lose this 288 level, then good chance we uh, get back to 280 and then even 270. Let me take a look at SPY really quick on the weekly as well. So yeah, this is a clear bearish uh, engulfing uh, candle that formed last week. Um, yeah, this looks pretty bearish. There's a very good chance that we visit this 376 level. That's the next major support level. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the indices. And now we'll take a look at some of the big cap uh, tech stocks. So Microsoft, Google, that, that type of stuff. First, we'll take a look at Apple. Let's go to the daily. So yeah, Apple is holding up pretty well, right? It's built, or it, start, it started a nice rally this year. Now it's just been consolidating. And uh, with Apple, this is a very clear analysis, right? If we take on 155, there's a very good chance that we rally higher. If we take out this 147 level, there's a very good chance that we rally or we um, flush lower, right? So yeah, very clear levels on Apple. 
and the SM targets would be just be the first downside target and then uh, say this is the first upside target so yeah uh, if we take out 155 then we could try longing Apple and then target would be 166 if we fall below 147 then a good chance that we can fall back to 138 as that's the that major support level um, but yeah that's pretty much it for Apple next up we'll take a look at uh, let's take a look at Meta so Meta is another name that's been holding up really really well very nice gap up from earnings uh, nice consolidation pulled back in a little due to market weakness rallied back up forming some, a little like cup and handle here potentially a very mini cup and a very mini uh, cup and handle forming on the daily chart but it's possible that could be happening so right now uh, there's a bull flag forming and if you can take out this upper trend line then there's a very good chance that meta can uh, power higher um, but yeah right now meta actually looks pretty strong compared to the other tech stocks so uh, this is one that you shouldn't be looking to short you should be looking to short the we weaker ones such as uh, um, Amazon's pretty weak Google's pretty weak or you could just go for the indices to QQQ in general these stocks are much weaker but uh, yeah meta is holding up relatively well so I wouldn't look to short this one uh, taking a look at Google Google is pretty much stuck in consolidation, right? Uh, key support level is 86. Key resistance level is 105. So if it, if it takes out either of those levels, then there's a trade. But if not, then it's just pretty much stuck in chop. Google's been chopping for like the last almost five, six months now. So yeah, uh, not there's definitely no trade on Google if you're looking for a longer term play. Uh, same thing for Amazon. If it takes out 102, then that's a long play. If it takes out 88, that's a short play. But other than that, in, in between this range, there's no clear um, edge for traders like us. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Amazon, Google, Meta. Next up, we'll take a look at Netflix. So Netflix was a really good short play when it lost its trend line. And ever since then, it's just been flushing, right? Um, so the next support level for Netflix would be <clears throat> around this 284 level and if that fails to hold then it can go a lot lower um, around this uh, 264 level um, but right, yeah right now Netflix is very weak and it's definitely dragging down uh, QQQ um, but yeah uh, to, if we come down to 284 that could be a good buy the dip opportunity if there is strength if there is strength showing in the markets but right now I would just avoid Netflix uh, all together and just stay in cash or look for short opportunities uh, we'll take a look at nvidia nvidia is like the strongest big cap stock right now um, it's been holding up the best so far uh, like meta it had a very nice gap up on earnings nice consolidation but just uh, last thursday and friday it's uh, following through to the downside it built a nice flag but now it's following through to the downside so if it loses this uh 224 level there's a very good chance that we could gap fill all the way down to 2211 so yeah short under 224 and the target would be 211 um but yeah that's pretty much it for nvidia um next up we'll take a look at tesla so tesla um it was acting very well this year right uh, it had a very nice rally in january and february but in March so far has been pretty bearish, right? Uh, just like Netflix, it's been very, very, very weak the last couple of weeks. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a very clear downtrend line forming here. So unless Tesla takes out this downtrend line and reclaims this 178 level, then uh, I would be looking to either stay in cash or try to find a short play for Tesla. But definitely don't be trying to look too long this unless it reclaims this 178 level and breaks this uh, uh, trend line. Um, and uh, yeah, right now uh, it's it's uh, next support level is at 162. So if that happens, uh, you could be looking to buy the dip on it. But right now, I would say it's best to just stay in cash and wait for the market to show clear direction. I don't think buying the dip right now would be a smart thing to do. Um, there's there's, there's just way too much market weakness, and um, yeah, I think it would be smart to just stay in cash. Just wait, wait for like a clear direction. 
Um, next up, we'll take a look at a few individual tickers that have been acting well. First up being SE. So SE had a very nice gap up on earnings. Really, really strong volume, right? Look at the volume before and look at the volume on that day, right? That's institutions buying up. That's not retail buying. Institutions loaded up onto the stock from their from their because of their earnings and uh, um, yeah, right now it, it was acting pretty well. It was building a nice flag here, nice three day flag, and if it broke out, that would have been a very easy A plus short or A plus long setup. But right now it's following through to the downside. But if it can consolidate for a bit more and then take out this trend line, then there's a good chance that um, as he would be a top top play to. Uh, look to get exposure on the long side um, Yeah, overall as he's as he's acting pretty well and uh, Yeah, I just want to see if we can consolidate and hold up and if this trend line breaks There's a good chance that it could go a lot higher and the first target would be Would be around this uh, 90 90 level um, Okay, next up we'll take a look at Roblox so Roblox has been acting kind of well recently. They had a nice uh, gap up on earnings, and then it ended up filling the gap very quickly. But um, it's still it's still holding up right now. Had a nice rally last week, and if it takes out this forty two level, very very clear play, right? <clears throat> it's been consolidating for one two three four five six days between this range, so. When a stock has been consolidating for that long, when it breaks in either, either direction, there's a very good chance that it can make a big move. So if Roblox breaks out or takes out 42, there's a good chance that we can make a decent sized rally. Uh, first target would be around this 47 level. But if we break down or if we take out this 39.5 level, there's a good chance that uh, we can revisit 36. So yeah, that's the play on Roblox right there. Next up, we'll take a uh, look at go to. So this is a <clears throat> it's a penny stock, but it's a high liquid or very liquid penny stock. Um, and this stock has been acting really, really well. Um, had a very nice rally last December. Really nice volume, right? This is the volume that you want to be seeing uh, as a sign that institutions are buying. Had a very nice setup just a, a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago. It was forming this very nice. Uh, it had a very nice triangle setup for me, and then it broke out on this day, uh, and then it consolidated for around four days here. And I was looking to see if it would break this 5.17 level for a long play, but unfortunately it didn't. But it's still forming a bull flag, so if it breaks this uh, trend line, uh, it could, this is still a uh, potential play. Um, and yeah, this one has a lot of potential. It's a fast mover, so this one could be a stock that doubles in less than <clears throat> doubles in less than one month so this one's definitely on my, my radar um all right next up we'll take a look at first solar first solar is an also it, <clears throat> it's also a strong a stock that's been holding up very very well recently um nice bull flag here and then broke out on earnings nice rally now it's starting to pull back on light volume look at the volume on the upside and look at the volume on the downside right that's what you want to see institutions are buying up the stock and there's very small selling <clears throat> very small selling happening on the downside and that's exactly what you want to see on a strong stock um but yeah first solar is showing a lot of good signs right so if this builds out a bull flag uh i want to see some more consolidation and if it bulls er, <clears throat> and if it builds out some sort of bull flag then this would definitely be on my radar for um a long play and then finally we'll take a look at duolingo um, this is another stock that had a very nice earnings report, very nice gap up, very nice volume, right? Look at the volume bars before and look at the volume here. Clear signs, clear sign that institutions are buying up the stock. Um, first nice, first nice setup was on this day. It formed a two day flag and you could have taken it on this day and then it formed the flag again here, but did not trigger to the upside. Um, but yeah, right now you want to wait for this to consolidate more, build some sort of flag. Um, I just let it consolidate. Hopefully, it builds out uh, in the next couple of days and weeks, and then makes a leg up or and gets ready for the next leg up higher. And this is what I'm watching for uh, Duolingo right now. 
uh, it, it needs more consolidation, but it's holding up pretty well compared to the rest of the market. So, yeah, this one's on my watch as well. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.